Authorities have reported two more fatalities from the ill-fated cargo ship LCT Cebu Great Ocean, raising the death toll to six. Seven crew members survived the tragedy, while another seven remain missing. Chari Coronel reports. The bodies of two more crew members of the ill-fated LCT Cebu Great Ocean were found in San Francisco, Surigao del Norte this morning. Coast Guard Station Surigao del Norte Chief Elaine Pangilinan said the Human Resource Office of the Ship Company identified the fatalities as Clint Austero and Limwell Austero. The addresses of the two are yet to be identified. As of today, fatalities rose to six, including two Cebuanos who were identified earlier. Seven survived, including two Cebuanos, while the other seven are still missing. Coast Guard Surigao del Norte earlier reported that the LCT Cebu Great Ocean was from Agusan del Norte, operating at the Agata Mining Ventures Incorporated, before the tragedy happened last Monday. The Coast Guard cannot provide yet the exact names and addresses of the missing crew members due to conflicting list of names from the Agata and the account of the surviving chief mate, Roger Polo. Meanwhile, one of the fatality, Norman Gallon, was laid to rest after his body arrived in Consolacion, Northern Cebu this morning. The ship company and the local government of Consolacion assured to provide assistance to Gallon's family. Joji Villanueva, one of the survivors, has finally reunited with his parents. Talisay City Mayor Samsam Gulias earlier said that the city will provide assistance to Villanueva's family. Chare Coronel, Sunstar Tonight.